Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to another quick uh, little tip for working with Git and Code Anywhere. Um, often, uh, this kind of thing happens to uh, students as they're working through projects. You've, you've cloned out a project and you've made some changes and you've uh, finished your work. So if I run a Git status here, you'll see that um, my branch is ahead of the origin by one commit. So I've committed my work and now I need to push my work. So if I run git push, all of a sudden I'm asked for a username. Uh, well, that doesn't work very well for me because um, what this is trying to do is it's trying to authenticate with GitHub using HTTPS authentication. Uh, the problem is that I have my GitHub account set to two-factor authorization, which I encourage everybody to do, and two-factor authorization doesn't play very nicely with, um, with using HTTP authentication. So uh, there's two options. Either we can generate some one-time use passwords that would allow us to use this HTTPS authentication. GitHub provides that feature for us, um, even though it's probably not the best one to use in a case like this, uh, they at least make it possible for you to do so. Um, I don't want to do that. I actually want to authenticate through my SSH key, which I already um, have registered because of the Code Anywhere integration. So I'm going to show you how to fix this problem and switch over so that GitHub is trying to use your uh, SSH key. So I'm going to use control C to break out of that. And what I'm going to have to do is actually edit my git config file in this project. So if I click on the dot git directory over here, and if I open this config file, you will see that in the config file, there's a definition of the remote server origin, which is my GitHub server. And right now, that is set to an HTTPS URL. So I know for sure that I accidentally cloned this using the HTTPS clone. Um, if I click back over to GitHub, you'll see that here is where I would have gotten that URL from. Uh, I'm able to pick between HTTPS and SSH. Now, HTTPS is recommended for cloning something because you don't need to have any permissions on the repo to clone it via HTTPS, and you don't need to have deal with keys. But SSH is much better for when you're actually working on a project of your own. So what I'm going to do is actually copy this URL to my clipboard using this handy copy to clipboard button. I'm going to go back here, select this HTTPS URL, and I'm going to paste in this SSH URL. So that now, as you can see, my remote origin definition reads like this, and it's using this SSH URL to uh, clone. So I'm going to save that file. And now, if I run git push, it still gives me the warning about the configuration of, um, of git, but it actually completes the push. And as you can see, the push was successful. So that's how you fix your git URL when you accidentally clone a, a repo using the HTTPS URL instead of the SSH URL. Uh, good luck. Have fun developing. Take care. Bye.